Hey guys, I have Arnold here doing a quick auto care review of both the Gundam Grimmery and a little bit on the side, the Gundam Double Oak uh, Command Quanta. Uh, as you can see, Gundam Grimmery is built, has its cloak, has Halberg. That's technically an axe, but it's Halberg now since it has one side broken. It's a beautifully designed, not gonna lie, especially comparing to most IBO kits. Very nice and detail wise. Very, very good. Uh, what's it called? Sticker, sticker heavy is not that much. It's only got one for the visors, some for the um, shoulders. For the insides, you can see right here. You got one right there. You got one right there. The eyes, you can see the shoulders right there. You can see one shoulder right there. Stickers for the back. Fennels of the thrusters for the wings. Uh, it's got some stickers on the arms, which are the black stuff, which I could have painted, but... I was in the building mood and it's like, it's not that many stickers. And when it comes to some kids that have stickers, uh, it's like, I'll let them go by. But overall, Gundam Grimmery looks nice. Later on, I am going to do some more detail and panel lining, maybe a little bit of painting on where you see all the um, indents and whatnot. Or, but overall, this is actually a pretty nice kit. And while we do that, let's also go with the Command Quanta, which is the other model kit I spent most of my day building as long as he does not fall because I have him in a really nice pose I was trying to find other of my what's it called uh, stands but can't find them either I can't find them or they're being used by other kids but I'm just gonna let it go for right now but let's do a quick overview command quanta looks nice and beautiful it's gun shield being great it's gun sword Oh, it's more of a gun than a sword, kind of more of a, kind of like a bayonet attachment. It's got another GN sword as well. As this is the Quanta version of this, this is more of the, what, GN sword 7, 8? I forget. It's, there's so many of them. And it's also technically part command. It's also got some of the command weaponry. It's the, it has the rocket launcher right there. Really loving the aesthetic of being more, of because it's taking the command side. It's more tactical. It's got that combat tactical green uh dark green light green uh, a little bit of that um ye yellowish was orange it's pretty nice design and out of all the battle log gun and breaker battle log kits probably my favorite out of all of them but it's also because i'm slightly biased when it comes to double o a bit but really really liking really liking this i'm really liking both kits they are really nice and beautiful uh what's it called i will be doing individual I will be doing individual uh, reviews for these in the next day or two. I'm just a little bit busy. I'm kind of working on stuff at the moment. But just doing this quick review showing how they're already built. They're already done. And just to show how they are. It, well, I'll get full reviews of both of these guys. And next and this week. Either the next couple days. So keep looking out for that. But it's Pyro in here. Signing out. And I'll see you guys next time.